what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a guy by the name of Raymond de Souza, born in Brazil, lives in America. He is a delegate with the Human Life International Group. He has a message for Africans. Protect yourself. Defend yourself. Against who? United States, Canada, and Europe. He says that they have a plan to depopulate Africa. Now, this is a plan that we all have known about forever, but we never had any inside information. We just have common sense. We can tell, we can see what they're doing. And we know what they're about. But he had inside information. He said that the United States, Canada, and Europe has policy regarding Africa. In the past, he said from 1990 to 2000, collectively, these countries have spent $6 billion on contraceptives. Not $6 billion to, to clean the water, for clean food, for health care. No. The money was spent for contraceptives. Why would they spend that kind of money for contraceptives? Simple. They don't want any more black babies born in Africa. And they don't want them born in the U.S. or even in Europe. Now, he says that they have a plan. He said, number one, they have a plan to increase white population. He said that they're scared to death, particularly white men are afraid that they're going to lose their power and they are going to lose their power. It's just a matter of time. His sentiments was echoed by Jane Elliott. If you don't know who Jane Elliott is, look her up. She is the truth a white female educator, and she is fearless. Look her up. Jane Elliott said that they have a three-tier plan to increase white population. They had three, well, put it like this. They had three ideas. One was they could pay women to have babies, but if they did that, they would have to pay Black women too. Secondly, they could increase immigration. But if they did that, the majority of immigrants that comes over are dark. The third thing they could do is because 60% of abortions that take place in America are from white women, they, she said if they could save those 60% of babies, then they stand a fighting chance. This is why the Republicans are forcing these anti-abortion laws on women, not even giving them a choice, just saying they're just passing legislation, <laughs> you know? So what are they so afraid of? You see, here's the deal. If they was not treating people bad, it's one thing that what happened 400 years ago or 200 years ago, whatever, 150 years ago, whatever happened, that was a while back. If it was in the past and we were gone, we were past that, we were actually in a post-racial society, then maybe they wouldn't have too much to worry about. But because they continue 
with their same type of ways, the same oppression, the same abuse, the same murderous mentality. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid that black people is going to get the upper hand and treat them the exact same way. But I want you to come on in, white folks. Come on in real, real close. I want you to really hear what I got to say right now. Black people ain't built like that. That's just not who we are as a people. We're just not inherently evil like that. But if those of you out there are so afraid, just start treating people better. And you won't have anything to worry about. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?